What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and I want to welcome you back for another one of my music video reviews. Of course, naturally as probably probably everybody else in the K-pop reaction review community is doing is taking a look at the 9 year 9 year anniversary song from Girls Generation which is uh, quite an achievement and of course I think you should commemorate that with a little bit more than a song, but I think a song at the moment is good enough. I hear that they're going on a little retreat and vacation to Hawaii or something like that, so that's definitely super awesome. But, you know, we're here. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what it is all about. The music, at least. I don't know specifically about the lyrics. I don't have... But whatever. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out, and then we'll tell you what I think, and then that's going to be that. So let's, let's do it right now. I like this. I am I am enjoying this. This is the first Girls Generation song that I've actually really liked, barring not including Catch Me If You Can. Since I guess you can say I got a boy. Like this for me this is this has been this is the first like actually like really good song right now that they have released or made or sung or whatever in the last two or three years that's 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 what I think so you can you can kill me if you want to try through your nasty words but that's what that's my opinion it's what I think I can say, you know, with it being K-pop, right, I can say that, I don't know, it's not really a disappointment for me, but it's just something to point out, that the music video, of course, is not particularly, it's not, doesn't have that normal K-pop sort of visual element to it. It's, of course, it's definitely something that's very visual appealing, but for me, it's not, like, something that is meant to be something to, like, really super, like, focus on and a sole reason to like this song. Of course, cause that's not really the point of the song, right? This part, the point of the song is through what the like the message and the story is that's in the song and the emotion and the feeling behind it. So, you know, having having a, a video that doesn't take away and distract so much from the song, I think, is really, really, really nice. It's a uh, it's definitely definitely cool. Yeah, this is definitely a. I, I like this. I like this a lot, even though I don't really have any sort of. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I guess you know, like personal connection with the group. I'm not. I wouldn't. Definitely don't consider myself to be a, you know, big fan of this group or anything like that. You know, I. I kind of. I definitely do. Feel that like, emotional reaction and stuff like that that you would kind of or that I would be expecting and anticipating that like you know real fans of the group who've been with them for nine years even or a little bit more than that or even just a year who knows you know your your personal connection and, and emotional attachment to a group is different and whether you're a, a fan of a year or nine years you know you, you at some point you those people kind of care um the same or not I mean it that's that's pointless. That, that doesn't really apply. But you know, I think this this song is you know for kind of like you know for what it's trying to for what it's kind of, what the purpose of the song is right. Of course, like I said, it's something that is supposed to be to like commemorate the nine year anniversary of this group. It's supposed to be a song that is you know for the fans in one way or another, 
And like, I don't know specifically what it's about because I don't have translations and I don't, I don't, I don't know what the lyrics are. So I don't, I can't specifically tell you what this is about. So I'm not really going to go into any sort of um, commentary on that. But I mean, listening to it towards the end, you know, I, I got, I got a little emotional here as, you know, I would expect that some or a lot of, you know, fans of this group would because it's. I mean, even though I don't think that it's particularly meant to feel super overly emotional, it's like I can, I can, I can just kind of, I, I got it. I, I could feel it. I could feel that whole emotion that was in there. And I mean, it's, it's really nice. Not to mention that as far as, you know, my personal opinion on this song and the career of Girls Generation over the last few years, that this is definitely my favorite song that they've released in the last, since I, since I got into K-pop. This is by far the for me the number one song that they've released since i got into k-pop and that's that's i guess that's saying something that's pretty good so i don't know i mean that it, it's it's a good it's a really really good song and I, and I like it and um you know with it being something that's officially released too and like a major release a single through the station whatever i guess you can debate whether that whether or not that's a major release but it also is like as a, as a song that's promoted when it's got a music video and stuff like that it's also different kind of stands out in a pretty dramatic way from any, everything else that they've promoted as well because if this is like a pure ballad song and you know like i'm not a big fan of this group so don't kill me if i'm wrong about this but like since since i can't particularly remember that they've actually had a music video for or that they've promoted even for an actual ballad song. Whether or not they've had them on their albums, I'm sure they have. I don't particularly know. But that right there is cool and stands out to me, and I think it's really nice as well, because it's something different from the group that we haven't partic- that fans such as myself or fans of K-pop such as myself who aren't so into the group haven't seen or heard the the, the members of this group do. So I I like it and you know, listening to this, it gives me, you know, some hope and faith and belief that the next album from Girls' Generation, the next song that is used to promote that with the music video, is going to be actually something that I can say is quality and something that I like, as far as, you know, it's not going to be something where I have to say things about it like I did with Lionheart. But, you know, that's... It's just, it don't, I don't suggest you watch that 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 video that I made unless you really want to, and then whatever. But that's about it. That's all I got. I'm I'm not actually gonna do a, re- a review of this song because I don't think that it really needs any further review than what I already said. So you know that's gonna be it. So instead of instead of for this video, instead of instead of telling me what you thought of this song, tell me your story with Girls Generation. I mean, it's nine years, so if whether you've been with this, you've been following the group for nine years or nine days, you know, tell me, you know, what got you into the group? What is your, you know, what is your journey? Where, what have you, where have you gone with the group? What have you been through with the group? What is your emotional attachment for the group, with the group? Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments. I really, really want to hear, you know, what you guys have to say. Your, your stories and your, and your relationships with K-pop groups is something that I'm very, very interested in, in hearing about. So do that. And then if this is the first time watching one of my videos, or if you want to see more videos like this in the near future, then hit that subscribe button so you stay updated with all of my future uploads. So that being said, that is it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.